Hey guys, today I want to show you how to restore to a specific software. In this case, iOS 11.1.2. Now, the reason why I'm showing you how to downgrade or upgrade to this software is because you may remember last year, Ian Beer from Google's Project Zero released some information that led to a jailbreak on the iPhone 7. And this year, we have a very similar situation. So iOS 11.1.2, is sort of the sweet spot firmware to be in if you're interested in jailbreaking. If you're not, then this will not apply to you. Go ahead and update to the latest 11.2. This iPhone 8 is connected to this Mac, iOS 11.2. Let me show you how to downgrade or upgrade very, very easily. Now, before you proceed, make sure you save everything you have on your device, even though I'm gonna be showing you two methods, the method without losing your stuff and the method where you restore completely. Still save all your stuff before you try anything. Now, links will be in the description. You wanna to go to this website here, select your iPhone, and then just download the firmware. Now, right here is where you'll know if you can restore to that software. In this case, as I mentioned, 11.1.2 is highlighted in green. It means Apple's servers are still allowing me to use iTunes to restore to the software. So go ahead and download it. I'm downloading it right now. Now, it doesn't really matter if you're updating or downgrading this software is going to be restored specifically to it so it doesn't matter the process is the same so once the software is done downloading all i have to do is go to itunes select my device and the way that you would save all your data while restoring to the software is by holding down the option key on the keyboard here and clicking on check for updates now when you download the software you can select it here mine's on the desktop so i can select it and this will restore the device without having to wipe it clean but I personally want to go ahead and wipe it clean, so I'm going to use a restore. I like to do this when I'm going to perform a jailbreak, hopefully a jailbreak in the future. So I like to wipe it all clean. That's why I say save all your data because both methods are safe, but one will wipe your device. The restore version and the update version could fail. It is a software, so just to be safe, make sure you back up everything. All right, so now we're ready. We backed up everything. We downloaded the software. We connected our devices. If you're going to do the restore, hold the option key and press restore. And if you're on the window, computer you want to hold down the shift key while clicking on restore or update whichever option you want now when you click on restore it's going to require you to go to your iPhone here and go to the iCloud settings and turn off find my iPhone this is going to wipe the entire phone out completely so that's the prompt there okay so I'm turning off find my iPhone now I can hit the option key while I hold it click on restore it's going to bring me to this window here that's going to allow me to select the software that I want to restore to all right so once the software has been selected click restore or update whichever option you decide to go with and it's going to start restoring your device now there's probably a question that you may have and that is if i'm running ios 10.3.1 10.3.2 10.3.3 10 and you've been waiting for a jailbreak very long should you update to ios 11.1.2 and that's going to be a decision you're going to have to make in this case i'm going to go ahead and restore to 11.1.2 because last year we saw google's project zero ear and release some information that led to a jailbreak and as i mentioned we're in a very similar situation this year so that's the option i'm going to go with whatever option you decide to go with then that'll be your choice so let's go and wait for this restore okay so here we go the iphone has been officially restored let's go ahead and do this carrier update that's available i'm going to set up as a new iphone here so here it is ios 11.1.2 i can go ahead and start the setup process and that is how you do it so i hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did don't forget to click the like button much more videos coming your way be sure to stay tuned any other questions leave them in the comments down below i'll try to get back to you as soon as i can it's when i device help and i'll see you real soon peace